What's up guys? I know it's been a while since I've made a video, um, but I wanted to do a, a video. I got some recent pickups here. I got some DVDs and some Blu-rays. They're all pretty good movies. Um, and I got a good price. I got them all for a good price. Uh, the first one here is a, a classic comedy. Most everybody has seen this uh, with Police Academy. Um, you know, three dollars for this. I seen this for three dollars. I was like, man, if they'd only had the six sequels, uh, you know, not not with this, this by itself, and then the six sequels, it would have been worth you know having. Because I like the second Police Academy movie; it's pretty good. But this one really is the one that kind of they can't match up to. And it was just an extremely funny movie. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know why Walmart's selling it for three dollars. They ain't got nothing at Walmart though. They ain't stocking nothing. It looks like a mess over there. Like a war zone's hit it. Um, the next one and these next four came with slip covers, and I don't need to tell you my opinion on the slip covers. I got a video for that. Um, this one is Robin Hood with Kevin Costner. Um, it's an alright movie. I mean, I've seen it before. I ain't seen it in years. Uh, but I bought it because I've seen it before. Um, I really like how they did the inside of it here. The table of contents for disc one over here. The special features on disc two are here and you open it up. And you've got disc one and disc two together. Um, and essentially, you know, this was also $3. So what I, and essentially what I did though was I paid $3 for a bunch of plastic and cardboard you know well I guess in kind of cardboard or paper but I paid them I paid for plastic and a bunch of paper and a slip cover I paid three dollars I probably could get that thing for 99 cents if it had been in a snap case <clears throat> this one my best friend's favorite movie uh, well favorite western and it is a uh, classic western Unforgiven. Um, I like it. It's okay. No, I'm not. I mean, Eastwood's got some good westerns. I like some of his movies. I'm still a big, you know, John Wayne is still a better western guy than Clint Eastwood is. But uh, as far as westerns go, nobody can touch John Wayne. I don't care who it is. Uh, and if I get any bad remarks and any slander remarks about <clears throat> my opinion about that in this page, I'll block your comment. <clears throat> You can respectfully disagree with that, but if I hear any of the normal old John Williams and races, then, 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 then I'm blocking your comment because that stuff's a lot of bull crap. You want to be respectful about it and disagree, it's fine, but none of that other bull crap. You know, that stuff is, is, is old as dirt. But there's the table of contents for the movie, and then over here's the special features. You know, open up, and it's just your standard black discs. I believe the disc one art is actually. Maybe the the art that's on the disc itself, the the one from the original release and the Blu-ray, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> that and also is three dollars, so that was pretty good. I found that movie. Um, this movie's considered a classic. Yeah, it's five Academy Awards. Uh, Jack Nicholson, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Real good movie. You open it up. Movie table contents, special features, and then you've got the nurse on this disc, and then Jack Nicholson over here. Um, you know that's a really good movie. I only had the good price, three dollars for that, and I had seen this before in a snap case to this for like nine dollars. So I don't really like those type of cases, but yeah, three dollars I get it. Um, now this movie, the oldest one I got of them are the ones I bought and it's considered a real classic and it is The Treasure of the Sierra Madre Humphrey Bogart and Walter Houston directed by John Houston of course this movie is famous for the infamous Walter Houston dance that was later homaged in City Slickers and also is known for the phrase badges we don't need no stinking badges I did that the best I could so you know, but that comes from this movie. 
And I'm not a big, you know, Humphrey Bogart guy. I think Bogart's one of the worst actors that ever lived, ever. Like, could not act his way out of a paper bag <clears throat> at all. Because, uh, I mean, everybody talks about Bogart. They always mention this movie, African Queen, Casablanca, Maltese Falcon. That's it. They don't mention nothing else. I can't think of nothing else Bogart was in. You know, and uh, and I happen to say, and I, now, I do not have Casablanca. I could have got it. I don't like Casablanca. Just don't like that movie. I've seen it, and I'm like, bore, change the channel. It didn't keep my attention. Claude Rains was good. You know, and I like Claude Rains. Claude Rains is good in anything, but it just didn't catch my attention and keep it. Um, a lot of people will consider that blasphemy to not like Casablanca because they say, oh, everybody likes Casablanca. Well, I'm the type of person, if everybody likes it, I'm the opposite if I watch it. Like The Godfather. I have The Godfather. It's an okay movie. I watched it once. I don't like to watch it no more. I'm the type of person I watch The Godfather. I don't like to watch it again for 25 or 30 years, and I'll still know what happens. You know, Casablanca's overrated. The best Bogart movie is this movie because he actually has acting range in this one. He goes from a sane normal person to a completely insane person ready to kill his partner, uh, partners for the gold. It drives him crazy. That's acting range. He does good in this. Them other movies is like, you know, oh, you awful dirty rat. You know, it's just gangster crap. You know, I know awful dirty rats and Jimmy Cagney, but you know what I'm saying? It's gangster crap. It's like Big Whoop. African Queen, I didn't like it because Bogart. Catherine Hepburn's fine in it. She's a good actress. Bogart, no. Um, so this would probably be my favorite Bogart movie, considering the guy couldn't act his way off of paper bag. Over here you've got the table of contents, the scene index for the movie, the table of contents. You've got commentary and introduction by Leonard Malton. You've got a Bogart trailer gallery, which has actually been in quite a few movies. Yeah, Casablanca, Maltese Falcon are, of course, on there. Key Largo, you know, the only good one on there is uh, Treasure of Sierra Madre. Of course, Angels with Dirty Faces would probably be good, which is the movie that Angels with Filthy Souls in Home Alone homaged. Then up here you've got a thing, a special about John Huston, the director of this movie, and also you've got the bonus material here on this side. So... Overall, you get some pretty good stuff. You open it up, and of course, for some reason, the movie is on just a plain, regular old disc. All the other movies has art from the other sets from Warner Brothers. This one just has regular art. It says Treasure Sierra Madre up here. And then over here, the bonus features. And I'm not sure what that guy's name is there. That's, you know, either Tim Holt or Bruce Bennett. I'm not sure, but he's one of the gold prospectors. Like I said, I haven't seen this movie in years, so I'm not really, I don't remember who's who in it. I know who Walter Houston and Bogart are. But $3 for that, you can't beat that, because that's a real good movie, Trinity Sierra Madre. Uh, best Bogart movie ever. <clears throat> ever. You know, considering how bad a stiff an actor Bogart was. Now, I got two Blu rays here. And the first one I'll show you was Bernie Mac's last starring role, film appearance. Uh, he was in the movie Old Dogs, but this was really his true last appearance in the movie. And that is Soul Man with Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, and I believe this is actually also Isaac Hayes' final movie appearance, because Isaac Hayes, Bernie Mac died August the 9th, Isaac Hayes died the next day. I remember that day. I remember it was like they died within days of each other. You know, and... It's a good movie. I mean, when it came out, it was a flop, and I wanted to see it when it came out. I don't see why people don't like it. I don't know if it has to do with the music or what it is, but it's actually an enjoyable film. I liked it. Uh, the first view, and I liked the scene of it. It was funny, you know. And especially at the end, during the end credits, when they do the special tribute to uh, Bernie Mac. Uh, <clears throat> but if you, you know, if you ain't seen this movie, check it out. It, it's a pretty good movie. And then the next one I was really excited to get. It, uh, it's a double feature. And I was a little hesitant when it was a double feature. It's Mercury Rising and The Jackal. Now, it's a double feature, and I was a little hesitant because most of the time they do double features, they'll put it on one disc. Either 
both sides, uh, either on one side of a disc or they'll have the flip discs. And I absolutely hate it when it's a double feature and it's on one disc and one side's this and one side's the other because they scratch too easily. Uh, you can probably watch them three times and that's it because they scratch. But with this one, they did the uh, the, they did the good thing and they put it on two discs. You got Mercury Rising here. I'm going to try to make sure it don't, the light don't shine off those. And then the Jackal over here. And I absolutely love Mercury Rising. I think it's one of the best... Uh, Bruce Willis movies ever, you know, as far as acting, I mean, he, he's got good acting in it, it's not just a, a big action movie, you know, it's got moments, and it, it, to me, Bruce Willis, Unbreakable, Mercury Rising, uh, Fifth Element, three top, you know, and Die Hard, or his four top, you know, if I'm forgetting one, you know, I apologize, but to me, Mercury Rising and Unbreakable are his two best acting performances. I mean, he gives almost, and Unbreakable, he gives Academy Award, Academy Award nominated performance. He does great in that. You know, and in this one, he's got good acting too. Uh, so, you know, and I've always liked Mercury Rising and seen it on TV. And I think the little boy in this movie, which that little boy, by the way, played Nancy Thompson's son. She played the son of Nancy from not from Wes Craven's New Nightmare, so she was, you know, Heather Langenkamp's son in the movie. So since she was Nancy Thompson's son, but you know, but also she, you know, she played, you know, and he played the son in that, which is weird to think because this movie came out in '98 and that was like '92 or '93. So he, you know, he grew up, and it's weird seeing him in that one and seeing this. And that little boy's a great actor. I'm surprised he hadn't been nominated for Academy Awards. You know, I can't find anything where, you know, and of course then the Jackal, you know, I don't like Richard Gere. I hate Richard Gere. The guy sucks. I mean, my God. Richard Gere needs to just go away. You know, <clears throat> just go away, Richard Gere. No one cares about you. This movie is a Bruce Willis movie and it's got Jack Black in it. Few people know. Few people remember. Jack Black is in the Jackal. He's not in it long, but he's in it. And a lot of people that you'll talk to about the Jackal, they they forget that, you know, because he's in it. They're like, really? Jack Black? Yeah. And he's got, and his part's good. It's not long, but it's a good part for what it needs to be. And that's really a Bruce Willis track. And I was kind of hoping watching this, Bruce Willis, and this, this is originally a Bruce Willis movie. I'm like, kill Richard Gere. Please do us a favor. Kill him. And do away with him. No one likes Richard Gere. Everybody hates him. Even Richard Gere hates Richard Gere. Richard Gere is like Peter Chris from the band Kiss. Nobody wants to be Peter Chris, not even Peter Chris. Nobody wants to be Richard Gere. He don't even want to be himself. That's how god awful he is. I didn't mean to go on that ramp, but I just certain people I just do not like in movies. Like Sean Penn, he needs to die too. Sean Penn's a piece of garbage needs to die too. Both of them do. Him and Richard Gere need to go jump in a landfill. But you know, I would get this two pack because The Jackal is a great movie, and Mercury Rising is a real great movie. I absolutely enjoy both of these, and these come on USA Network on TV all the time. That's how I watched them. Thing is, you can't the way everything's gotten now, and everybody all sensitive and politically correct, and a bunch of retards being political correct retards and nut jobs. You don't see good movies no more. <clears throat> so I find them like this, and. They had another two-pack I was going to get, and I changed my mind, and I will get it sometime. It's The Last Boy Scout and Last Man Standing together, double feature like this. And those are two Bruce Willis movies, and I know most everybody's seen Last Man Standing. You know, it's a contemporary gangster western. It's a good movie. I've never seen The Last Boy Scout. I don't know. I've heard it's good, but I don't know. Uh, you know, but I like anything action. Those were my pickups. Like I said, I've got five DVDs. At least four of them are classics. And then I got the two Blu-rays here. Um, you know, I would have made this video earlier because I got these Saturday, but I didn't have time. So, but those are the pickups I got. I want to give a quick shout out to a good close personal friend of mine named Ashley Garcia. She's from Germany. She's a sweet, funny, nice girl. 
and a real good close friend of mine. And of course, I don't have a lot of friends, so you know the friends I've got, I'm glad I have. Well, actually, darling, there's a shout out for you. Thanks everybody for watching the video. You know, you know what to do below, other than you know, rate the video, comment if you you know want to, subscribe to the channel. I love hearing from you. If you do have a disagreement with me, or you do have opinion on a movie i'd love to hear if you have an opinion on a movie a disagreement whatever like i said do keep it respectful if any if there's any kind of bad language any real bad filthy language at all f word you know whatever real bad language i'll block it you know i'm open to all as long as it's respectful opinion that's fine i'm not you know on youtube for people to argue with you know we're all adults. Let's be respectful about each other's opinions and have respectful uh, conversations to d agree or disagree. But uh, <clears throat> you know, I didn't mean to go on that little rant earlier. But you know, just sometimes it needs to be said. And I'm sure some people probably will disagree with me, and some will agree with me. But thanks for watching the video. I'll see you later.